what's going on everybody Jay Glees here and today we're gonna get into a Jade breakdown day one for Mortal Kombat 11 now a lot of times you'll you know go and watch videos and they have all of these flashy combos and try to take those combos and you go out into a match and you're like what the hell I can't do any of this stuff right now but I was glorious at it at practice mode and that's oftentimes because you don't have an actual game plan you have a lot of things that you can do but you don't know how to implement them. So what we're going to do here is we're going to talk about not only the combos that I am using, but also how to implement a game plan with Jade. And we're going to use the True Heart variation. That's the one with the air projectiles. All right, and the low right there. And we have this side switch, Shadow Kick. All right, so with this character, she's uh, great from about this range. All right, you don't necessarily want to fight close up uh, she does have a great string right here, all right, but it has some issues, and we'll get to that in a little bit. All right, so it, you want to typically spend most of your time in this range, throwing projectiles, zoning, counter zoning with this. All right, so if someone wants to try to zone you from full screen, they're not going to be able to. All right, there are certain projectiles like Scarlet's Tongue that are considered physical attacks, so even in this state, it'll still hit you, so keep that in mind. Once you are at this range and you realize you want to fight somebody from far away because you can outzone them, all right, so you fight a lot of characters from about this range. All right, some other characters like Scorpion, you're going to fight from about this range because he can react and he can teleport and he can punish you and make your life a living hell. Scorpion so far has been one of the more difficult matchups that I've found with Jade personally. That may change in the future. Again, it is day one. Now, one of her best moves is her down four. All right, this move is absolutely excellent. You can bully somebody with this. Dash in. It's got a lot of, uh, you know, hits of advantage when you land it. It's also uh, not going to get punished on block. It low profiles most attacks, meaning that it goes under them. Even jump in attacks. Like if I set the opponent to record, and we're going to jump in. All right, see how it goes under? All right, now that's also she has a great down too. So her down two is absolutely excellent. You can knock basically anybody out of the air, uh, you know, as far as that I've found uh, with the down two. Kicks, punches, it uh, doesn't really seem to matter all that much. Her best punisher is 2-1-2. I know it doesn't get a lot, but all of her, her I should say her only real launching string is really long. All right, on startup. So that's going to be a good punisher. This is a decent punisher. You can do this as well. All right, if you want to side switch. So if my back's to the corner, I can side switch by meter burning it. A lot of times I try to utilize Jade's meter, not necessarily for combos, uh, but for zoning. All right, so being able to double projectile in most cases. Now, from range, her forward 2-1 is a great move. You can utilize that combo right there off of it. It's a little bit easier than the optimal. I'll show you the optimal right now. All right, so that's the optimal right there with no meter spent. All right, that's at least what I'm doing. Someone else may be doing something different. But uh, with no meter spent, that's typically uh, what you're going to get there. Now, the issues that come into play with this string, which is uh, back... 3-4-3. Three, three. Now you have to input all three of those buttons for that string to come out. Back 3-4 doesn't work. You gotta go back 3-4-3. Three, three, all right, all three hits have to come out. Now at that point, that's when you have a choice to make. All right, what are you gonna do? Now why do you have a choice? Because the last attack in this string, that four attack at the end, is actually an attack where the opponent can flawless block. So let's, uh, let's set this up here. So we're going to record, and I'm going to have the control of Scorpion. I didn't do that right, did I? All right, so this is what it looks like. So I'm putting the string in, and I'm holding block. All right, now we're going to watch and see what I do here. Notice it's punishable. All right, it's punishable, full punishable. Now, I'm just doing a little rinky-dink combo. But you can get spicy on it. Right? 
So you can get full punish just like that if somebody flawless blocks that. So you have to keep that in mind. They don't even need to spend meter to do it. All right, so that is really important. It's probably one of the weakest points of Jade's game. All right, is that like her main string has that type of exploit to it. Now, there are things that you can do if someone's letting go a block and pressing block. Uh, you can go into your back forward too, uh, but again, it is unsafe. So her up close game is uh, rather limited. All right, as far as you know, strings, pressure, uh, things of that nature, it, it makes it kind of tough. Uh, you can go into the EX projectile as well. Uh, that's not a terrible choice in that instance if someone is uh, flawless blocking you to death, or you can just stop at back uh, three, four, three, and just stop there, and maybe they'll anticipate that you're going to use another attack, and they're trying to flawless block, and you can get a grab. All right, so there are mind games that you can play off of it, but it does make it kind of difficult. I'm not going to lie. That's uh, definitely one of the things that she struggles with. Also, keep in mind that this right here also has a gap. All right, so forward 2-1 has a gap as well. All right, so next we're going to talk about the crushing blows and how I convert off of them. Uh, we're going to start with the down two. Now, if you don't know what crushing blows are, I'll put a link down below. I wrote a basic guide for all the fundamentals and stuff from Mortal Kombat 11. So check that out if you're completely new to the game. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get our crushing blow in. And we're going to combo. And the way that we do that is with a down two into the crushing blow. And then back two. You got to be patient on it. See if I did it too early, it's not going to work. So I got to be real patient on it. All right, and I can even spin bar if I want to. If I can do it right. <laughs> All right, but I'm going to flip sides. Now, if I'm, you know, with my back against the wall in the corner, this move, meter burned, is great because now it flips sides for me. I may put myself in the corner, though, so you got to keep that in mind. All right, so the next thing we're going to look at is the crushing blow off of the 1-2-4. And you can see that that does crushing blow. All right, the first hit has to whiff though. That's the uh, prerequisites for that crushing blow. So we're gonna put that out there just like this. And that's the combo, simple, easy. All right, what we do is we go right into the launch, back three, four, three, into the shadow kick. Boom, simple, easy, no meter spent. So we're gonna get into the throw crushing blow, which this, uh, individual, aka the computer, has to escape fail twice in a row here. All right, that's what it looks like. It's just uh, right into the crushing blow, back three, four, three, into the shadow kick. Again, you can't meter burn it. Sit down. <laughs> you can't meter burn it uh, in order to get more damage. So we're going to talk about corner combos, and this is where Jade oftentimes thrives. Is in the corner. Uh, she has some really great pressure. She can go into this here on block to make herself plus. She's got overheads and lows in the corner. That is a low. All right, so you can go into that low. That is an overhead. So she's got legit 50-50s that lead to combo. She's uh, very strong in the corner. Uh, from this range, it makes it really difficult for people because you can, you can utilize this move. You have the down four as well. So it's like legit 50-50s from that range. All right, again, the forward 2-1. Uh, All right, again, does launch, but it does have a gap, so keep that in mind. So we're going to go through the combos and things that I like to utilize in the corner with Jade. And first, we're going to start off with the 2, or I'm sorry, forward 2-1. Now, the reason why I go with that there, if I'm spending no meter is because the knockdown on this is really good. You have a ton of advantage. You can choose to back up if you want to back up and bait something out or even back dash out. You can neutral jump if you think they're going to go with an up three wake up. Or you can just go right into pressure. So that's why I like this knockdown. Now we're going to take a look at the forward 2-1 with meter spent. All right, so we get 316, a little bit, you know, of a boost of damage. I don't typically use meter a lot with Jade, like I said before, as far as combos go. You don't get a ton of extra damage, uh, but it can help to close rounds out and things of that nature. 
All right, so next we're gonna take a look at combos ending in the corner with back forward two. They did change the recovery on this move and it makes it a lot more difficult to combo off of that in the corner now as opposed to the beta. If you're used to combos with Jade in the beta off of this in the corner, you're probably like, dude, this doesn't even work anymore. And you would be right. But you can link a down one into two one two. And it's a very tight window. It's not the easiest combo by any means. It's rather difficult. So we're gonna take a look at it. I'm gonna show you what it looks like here. Drop. All right, so that's what it looks like right there. Now, again, it's not easy. It's very difficult to land. It's something that's gonna take a lot of practice. I'm still not 100% at it. I'm probably at about 70% at it right now. But I think it is something that, you know, we're gonna have to utilize with Jade in order to excel with her. You're gonna have to be able to do that meterlessly in the corner and get that damage. So you can use the low there as well to get a nice combo off of a low starter. Take a look at that again one more time. All right, so we got the low starter there. And it works really well. Now, if they do block, you can keep it safe. All right, so this into the last three is actually safe. It's like minus five. So, you, you know, you can hit confirm it. You can visually see with your eyes if it hits. If it hits, cancel into this. If it doesn't hit, just go with the three. All right, and there you go. So we're going to take a look now at the crushing blow in the corner. This is what I've been doing meterlessly. Stand one, stand one. And then back three, four, three into the back forward two. So if you want the better knockdown, you can go with three stand ones. Just like that. You can also spend meter on this. Alright, we're gonna get 330 right there. So you can do it that way. That's just stand four into the up rangs, meter burn. Alright, so that's just one way to utilize that. You know, play with it, find combos of your own, utilize the character. She's a great character, I think. She has great spacing tools. She can outzone most of the cast. I think she's very strong in this game. Very, very strong. Her up close game isn't amazing, but she has a lot of tools to give a lot of characters problems. This right here, wild. This projectile, really good. All right, cloak myself up. You can't projectile me, but I can you. And if you try to jump, guess what? I got one of those coming at you hot. All right, so. Keep all that stuff in mind. If you have any questions about Jay, leave them down in the comment section below. Or any question about Mortal Kombat 11 in general, I'll be happy to answer them. So that's it. It's Jay Glee signing out. Thanks for checking in and continue to game strong.